Eric Moa with Mother.com with another Rethink video. We're going to be taking a look at the levels we always watch for some stock action, which is 69.1 and 50. So let's take a look at an example here, AGIO. This is the closing chart for end of March, so the closing day of March. RSI was trading at 66.97. And so let's fast forward to the current monthly chart. We can see as of right now, the RSI is trading at 70.54, which means it is now back above 69.1, which explains why for the month right now, halfway through the month, it is trading up almost 14% because it has recaptured that 69.10 level. Now, if we take a look at the weekly chart prior to this week, we can see that the stock had already shown evidence of holding above the 50 zone, closing at 51.09. Now, if we take a look at prior supports at the 50 here for a nice entry there, the stock did go on higher. Another support at the 50 here which is there in price, the stock did hold on, and there was a breakout here, which was off this nice movement somewhere here. All of them were successful, even we see another instant of support at the 50 level on the weekly RSI. So the fact that it had held that 50 level was suggesting to those who are watching that more than likely, this is an area where the stock could start moving higher, like it has been doing over the last one and a half years. If we take a look at the current weekly chart, we can see that for this week it is up about 9%, 10% as it continues building on to what was already a successful support at the 50 level on the weekly RSI. So let's take a look at yesterday's closing daily chart and we can see that it closed with the RSI showing potential of resistance. As you can see, this line was connecting the highs here, 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 and again here, which was definitely resistance. We can see that the RSI was trading at 46.44. Now, if we take a look at today's action, we can see the power of moving above 50 on the daily. So today, we can see that we finally clear this resistance that was there yesterday. Not only do we clear resistance, which is a buy signal by itself, there is a breakout here above 50. And that was good enough to launch the stock today up about 5.5%. And we can see that now we are back above 50 on the daily RSI. Just one more quick note. If you take a look at this chart, you'll see a lot of information around the 50. Number one, we can see that the stock was a buy when the RSI moved above 50 here. On hindsight, there was a nice entry there. And then since then, there have been support on the 50 here. Nice entry. Support at the 50 with uniform activity. Nice entry. Support at the 50 with uniform activity. Nice entry. Double bottom support here. Nice entry around here. And since then, until this recent day, we can see that since then, after moving below 50, the stock came off the highs there. There was resistance at the 50 with uniform activity, which is this short-term highs, and resistance at the 50 here, which was this short-term high. Now we have blasted back above 50, and we are seeing that the movement above 50 has been met with a nice surge in price. So there you have it. Always knowing where your stocks are trading in terms of where the RSI is trading in relation to this number is very important. In relation to the 50 level is very important and also in relation to 30.9. Eric Mwada with Mwada.com. Good luck, peace, and blessings. Woo! E-A-C-S.